I'm Roy Bates. I am uh, identify as a humanist chaplain. I'm a humanist and I'm openly secular. I um, have a background in uh, military, government, and private industry and uh, academia. I served um, five years in the Navy at sea and ashore. I served uh, five years in the Ready Reserve and the Air Navy, any submarine warfare, and a, and a couple of years in standby. I. Um, continue to serve the military because I am a volunteer for the Veterans Administration. My upbringing was irreligious. I was exposed to Christianity when I, we lived in a village and learned about Islam, we learned about Hinduism, we learned about Zoroastrianism, <laughs> the, uh, the religion of the Parsis. We learned Catholic, Catholic and Jewish and um, Islam. Uh, it was, a, it was a really a, a great revelation, and uh, I, I found it very useful to know that as I went on in life. Uh, and one of the reasons I have become a humanist chaplain is because I saw the change. When I was on active duty, the chaplains helped everybody. Chaplains in those days helped. Now it seems that the first question instead of what do you need is, well, you need <laughs> you, you need to be a believing Christian and then we can go on from there. No, oh, I think we need to speak out, we need to educate. Um, I know that um, I'm a member of the Military Association of Atheists and Free Thinkers, for example, so I go to a military post and talk to a group and, and encourage them to realize what their position is on, on terms, in terms of belief and, and most of them are shy of it because as one man said, you know, it hasn't come up on my job and I don't want to get a bad evaluation from a, from a, a fundamentalist superior. It's a real problem in the military. Um, in, in many cases, um, people are being indoctrinated from childhood that Irreligious people are bad people, we are evil people, we are agents of Satan. Um, so we've got to overcome that because we're not evil. Mm -hmm.